Starting gate is rolling and the pacing mares are moving in and lining up for the seventh race, the final of the Milton Stakes. Five Caviar Alley, one to two favored on the board as Andrew McCarthy is reunited with the Noel, Dale train, Noel Daly trainee who electrified us last week with that powerhouse win in 48 and three. Caviar Alley at one to two, the favorite on the board. As the field swings at the top of the stretch, it's post time for race seven. Here they come. They're off and pacing, coming out fast at the rail is Twinkle. Down the center fires out Frost Damage Blues. Up in between horses early is Caviar Ally, and in at the rail away fourth came Tequila Monday. A wide trip into the turn for Pure Country as she circles up now. Then inside, tucked over to the rail went Nike Franco. In behind horses as they march their way over to that quarter marker is L.A. Delight. The final three are betters up and Ella Christina, Artistic Madison trailing through a 26 second flat first panel and that panel thrown down by Twinkle minus an overcheck she's popped it off going up to three eighths in that pocket position their tracks along frost damage blues third to the outside comes caviar ally and then in at the rail fourth tequila Monday backed up inside from in fifth that's Nike Franco six now pure country seven to the outside that's LA delight scooting through at the rail goes betters up and the final two in the field are Ella Christina and artistic Madison how about a 54 and three first half as Cav Caviar Ally takes the field into the final turn. Caviar Ally up front the lead just over a length. Back into second tracks along Twinkle. Then outside third comes Tequila Monday. And the rail fourth belongs to Frost Damage Blues. Betters up at the inside. Six now. Seven to the outside. Nike Franco gapping on her cover. Then it's Pure Country held up. Artistic Madison towards the rail. And the final two are L.A. Delight and inside to Ella Christina. Three quarters of 122 and four. And as they come into the stretch, still there with the lead is Caviar Ally and she's opened up by three lengths now. Back into second is Twinkle put under a drive. Third tipped out comes Frost Damage Blues. Betters up escapes to the outside with late pace but they're all in a race for place here as Caviar Ally comes into the final 16th of the Milton Stakes and she'll win impressively again. Caviar Ally and McCarthy by three and they stop the clock in 151 and two to win the Milton Stakes. All right, looking right over here again, guys. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks, folks. Caviar Ally dominant in the Milton Stakes final. Andrew McCarthy back again. Another big win for this young gentleman. I'm joined by the owners, Caviar Farms. We have Clarence and Judy Chafee. Uh, we'll talk to them in a few moments. But um, Andy, the night just continues to roll on for you. This mayor so impressive last week. I know it's a colder night, but just as impressive? Uh, maybe not quite as impressive. You know, um, she, uh, she, I, she was so sharp last week, but obviously she still win by uh, four or five lengths. So she was, she was definitely good enough tonight, you know. She she had to work a little hard early, didn't she? Yeah, you know, I left hard early. I, I, I really had to leave hard to get away third, and then I worked pretty hard down the backside there to get to the front, and I, um, you know, I chased her in the last turn a little bit, get the engines revving, and she did respond. She, uh, she perked right up and, and went on with it. Have you had nights like this before? You know, the best night I've had, I won three of the kindergarten finals at the Meadowlands, but uh, not, not quite like tonight. This is pretty special. All the best in the final one. Thank you. All right, Clarence and Judy, let's bring you guys in. Uh, how proud are you of your mayor here? Uh, we are so super proud. She's just a great mayor, and she just tries so hard every time, and it just is really coming to her own this fall, so really super. Well, and that's exactly it. I mean, I was talking last week to, to Andrew about her. It seemed like she was, by her standards, in a bit of a slump, but right now, the last five starts, she just seems awesome. Yeah, she was really good last fall, win winning the Jugette. Uh, and then um, this spring she got sick and it took a while to get her going, get her back on track and everything else. But boy, she really has come on now. So we're really, really happy. 
This win also makes her racing's newest millionaire. So congratulations <laughs> on that. Thank you. Uh, going forward, what's left this year, and, and maybe how excited are you for the prospect of her as a five-year-old? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, she's racing super good, and obviously she's racing the older horses now as a four-year-old, so we think she can really do it as five. We're really aiming for the Breeders' Crown. That's, that's our big goal. She got second last year in the Breeders' Crown, and we'd really like to see her do well there this year. Well, I want to wish you both all the best, and thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. All right, there are the Chafees with Caviar Farms. Their gal, Caviar Ally, crushes in this year's Milton Final.